Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in a term with having. The way you do this is by learning how to serve people. You do not serve people if you are abusing your situation in your company. I have to talk about this almost every day with people who employ me, who hire me to talk about problems in networks, difficulties and business and risk management that puts their entire corporation at major lawsuit risk. Stupid employees cause the most lawsuits in companies. It's straightforward because of training programs that fail to educate and obliterate any employee's thought of being mischievous on the job. Being mischievous on the job is what's going on a lot today. Some people that don't really want hard work will go into a company that they know doesn't really tax them in their work, doesn't really push them to become anything much other than an employee. And I don't mean this to disparage any industry or any opportunities in life. We all have to work. But how you make your living may not be how I make my living. I make my living based on the composition and production of words, screwed together so that I can have a living. That is my forte. Writing is my forte. Networking is my forte. Exploring people's lives is sort of my forte. Through interviewing people is my forte. I might not be the most handsome man at this moment of time, but I've also lost 16 to 18 inches in my life off my waistline. So I'm not going to look exactly like I once did. I'm not going to have the most robust, shining, flowing face because my wife is no longer with me. But the one I love is always in my heart, always in my soul. And I still will always say that. But what I'm talking about today is whether or not you understand the laws today. When your employees are not bashed over the head in a training of what is and isn't okay on the job, when you're not training our young people officially by your corporation of what is and isn't okay and how they are expected to perform the best in every day, every way, without being implied that they're not good enough, without being destructive of their souls, and openly without them being tainted by other employees that might come on the job through a back door or without the proper training that can ruin a entire organization. We know the old saying that one bad apple can ruin the lot. That is truthful. One band manager can have a constant stream of attrition and struggle with retention. You see, it's the people that tolerate the illegal behaviors, immoral activities that destroy our communities and destroy your business and literally ruin the fact that people just might not come back to buy more from your store.